This question could obviously involve a lot of algebra, but we can analyze it by cases. Namely, we can look for a case of allowed possible values of x and y where x and y are easy to work with. For example, we could try setting y equal to 2. In that case, the left side of the equation is 8y squared equals 32. That looks nice, but it doesn't yield good values for x. We could try it the other way around. What if the two terms on the right are equal to 8 and 2? This is possible if x equals 5. Then the left side of the equation, 8y squared, equals 16. And in that case, y squared equals 2. Looking at the answer choices, we can see that we're always working with y squared, not y. So y squared equals 2 is actually pretty convenient. Let's see how the answer choices hold up when x equals 5 and y squared equals 2. If we put in these values, all of the answer choices should yield true statements, except for the one that's not equivalent to our starting equation. That will be the correct answer. Putting the values into A, we can see that we get 48 equals 75 minus 27, which is true. Therefore, 8 A is equivalent and is probably not the correct answer. Proceeding in the same way with B, we plug in values and we get 32 equals 32. So B is probably equivalent, probably not the correct answer. Same thing with C, we get a true statement, 16 plus 9 equals 25. With D, we get something that is not true. So this equation is not equivalent to our starting equation. Just to be sure, we can check E. E gives us a true statement. 16 over 8 equals 2. That's true as well. Therefore, we know that the correct answer will be D. We looked at a case that was allowed by our original equation, and it was allowed by all the answer choices except D.